Hey guys, what we're doing today is uh, we're cutting up the chicken that we got from Sam's yesterday. Uh, we're cutting it into uh, this long ways and uh, then we're going to cut our meat up and then we're going to half our uh, hamburger meat. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the chicken up, put it into uh, individual bags and then into a freezer bag so we put it in a freezer and uh, then we'll go um, and start on the meat. We have chicken breast. And he's going to cut those long ways. And then we have, what's that? We've got beef chuck roast. What I'm going to do is cut these into tips. And then what we'll do is use one for just the regular roast put in the crock pot. And then uh, we've got uh, 90 10 hamburger meat. And what we're going to do is just half these into uh, individual and pounds. Um, pounds and then put some for hamburger steak and then the rest of them we'll put in the freezer and um, okay. we'll go ahead and start on these and we'll fillet these in two. So here's what we're going to do. And what I'm doing is using a, um, a butcher knife that I got offline. Uh, we'll move those out. We're going to go ahead and cut these in two. It's nice, extremely sharp. So I just you go ahead and we just fillet them in two like that. You want to show your knife? Here's a, it's a case, buck knife. I got it because uh, these are extremely sharp and they stay sharp. Uh, they, they don't really dull a whole lot, so. And then we're gonna put them into individual bags, the chicken breast, <clears throat> and from there we're, we'll put them into um, a big freezer bag. That way they don't stick together. Wait just a second. And these are these are pretty big, um, and all you do is just cut them right into, just fillet them. They're pretty big chicken breast. the chicken breast finished and we ended up we ended up getting two big bags so we um, will label these and put them in the freezer and I just like to wrap them in individual bags and then put them in a larger bag um, that way so they don't freeze and stick together so we got two big huge bags of um, full bags of chicken breast um, and that was how many chicken breasts were in there like, uh, like seven or eight maybe yeah and big. um and we all he did was just cut them just slice them long ways and um or through and that's how much we have and we'll just put them in the freezer take them out as i need them of course after you cut chicken and you switch to beef, you've got to cut your, you got to clean your, your uh, materials like your knife and your cutting board. So I'm going to go ahead and clean those off and then we're going to start on the meat. And I do use soap to clean this, of course, just so it kills all the bacteria. And here's the chuck roast. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut the small one into uh, tips. And uh, we'll use this one right here as just a regular roast. They look really nice. I did. Mom picked them out. She did a good job picking them out.
so here is the roast that we got out of that package and we're just going to leave it whole and I will put it in the crock pot but I'm going to um, I'll freeze it and then I'll have it for the crock pot The 9010, and uh, that's 90% beef, 10% fat. And uh, what we do is we're going to go ahead and just half them and keep one out uh, for hamburger steak. So here's how I do it go ahead and half it, and I'll go ahead and put them in the bag. While he gets the area cleaned up, I'm going to show you what all it made. Alright, so there's two big bags of chicken breast. We have a roast to put in the crock pot. And then we have tips to also freeze and put in the crock pot. The hamburger meat, it looks like we have four bags of hamburger meat. So all of this meat. I'm going to freeze it and then I'm just going to take it out of the freezer and make it whenever we need it. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video and if you liked it, please consider subscribing and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks, bye.